I'm answering. After I was up 1800, the pit boss 1000% knew I was counting cards. No more 21 games. Uh, you can play Baccarat, Roulette, whatever you want. No more 20. I said, yep, okay, I understand. So, I'm in the Philadelphia airport right now. Uh, we're on, we're gonna go to Vegas, and I have about a five hour flight, but we're, uh, we're at the airport right now. And I'm super excited. Uh, I've been looking online. Looks like a lot of six to five tables and the three to two tables have at least a $50 minimum. So I brought the entire bankroll with me. Going through TSA is always exciting whenever you're carrying that. But uh, yeah, no, it should, uh, it should be a good time. I'm uh, meeting with someone there who is going to potentially become an investor and also wants to test me out, which naturally. So I'll be doing a test out while I'm there. And right now I just gotta make sure I catch my flight. But yeah, no, it's uh, it's starting off well. Last time I went somewhere like this, I missed my flight. So we're gonna try not to do that again. But I got two hour layover here in Philly. Not enough time to go to any of the casinos, unfortunately, but that's all right. But uh, yeah, I will update you guys whenever I arrive to Vegas. Serious question for you guys. Does it count as a Philly cheesesteak if it's at a Philly airport? Like, does that count as a Philly cheesesteak in Philly? If it's the Philly airport? That's something that you guys can debate about in the comments. Despite my flights getting delayed like 50 times, I finally made it, all right? Uh, I'm staying in the Excalibur Hotel and Casino. Uh, I walked through the lobby for a little bit. Looked cool. My phone died at the airport, unfortunately. Sorry about that. I was gonna get a, whole, a couple of videos of the strip and everything, but you know, that never happened. Uh, it's been a long day. It's 12.43 in the morning. I'm super tired. Uh, I, I, wanna, I wanna go downstairs and just scout the games for a little bit though, just to look. I don't think I'm gonna do anything, any playing, uh, but I'm just gonna go ahead and have a look real quick. And uh, yeah, I will update you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow, the plan is to get breakfast and to meet with my investor buddy, who I think we're gonna call nicknamed the professor uh, because he's a math professor. So uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna call him the professor. I'm gonna blur his face and everything so you guys don't know who it is. But uh, yeah, no, that's tomorrow. And tomorrow I'm doing a test out. So I'm super excited. And I don't, I've technically never done a uh, test out for another counter before. I'm not too worried about it. I'm sure my game is good. I've done like the online test outs, but uh, I'm not too worried about it. And uh, yeah, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, first things first, we're meeting up with the professor and then we're getting breakfast because I'm hungry. I haven't eaten since the airport. So we're gonna meet up with him and then we're gonna get breakfast. And then I think we're doing the test out. So before breakfast, we're at the Durango, which is apparently a new casino, but we're going to hit their sixth deck real quick and hopefully the counts get high. Uh, I do have my hidden camera with me this time. I did forget about it in Biloxi. Sorry about that, guys, but we're going to have the Durango here. So we'll see how the first session in Vegas does for us. All right. Nothing exciting for the first casino. We did make 150. So good start to the trip. We're up 150. Uh, the only reason why we're leaving so early is because I showed my spread. I got to a true four at one point and I didn't record. I didn't have enough time to record, but so I didn't record any table play for you guys. Don't worry. It wasn't that exciting, but we're going to head to downtown Vegas now and we're going to go check out some of the casinos there. We're trying, I'm trying not to get backed off super, super fast. I don't think the professor is either. You're not trying to get backed off super fast, are you? Yeah. So we're going to head to downtown, see what's up, and uh, I'll keep you guys updated. But no, nothing nothing crazy so far. The count never really got positive. Like I said, it got to a true four at one point, and I put out the two bets at 125. Got a blackjack and a 19. Dealer had a blackjack, so, you know, it is what it is. But uh, yeah, uh, I'll keep you guys updated. So not very exciting. Uh, nothing crazy happened other than, you know, bets of true four. I still have yet to put out my max bets of two hands or 300 out there. But that's fine. Uh, no back offs either, which is why you guys haven't seen any back off footage from the, the hidden camera. But uh, we're headed back to the, the, the nicer casinos like Excalibur and uh, so on. But we're up right now about 600, six something. I think it's like 640, 620, something like that. So we are up, but 
it's all been, you know, small bets of, you know, 25, 50. I did get check played on one hand of $50. I did get check played with that, at a, but it was a super small casino, so it's kind of expected, but still, $50 check play, I don't know. But we're gonna head back to Excalibur and some of the better casinos with better rules, you know, uh, ones that have like surrender and like, you know, 0 0.5, 0 0.7 pen for six decks, so. All right. Are you serious? Ah, uh, no, I'm good. Actually, surrender. It's got it's hit seventeen. There we go. One time. We're good. Sheesh. God damn, where is it your releases? No offense. There we go. Okay. We love it. Stay surrender. Did you have a third, sir? No. Okay, did you have one? After the MGM thing, I think I'm gonna pass. What's the MGM thing? Did you have MGM that hacked? No. Yeah, all uh, their like, database, everything got leaked. Really? About the players and all their accounts, and what yeah. What is this? This is maybe a month ago, maybe two oh. months ago. Yeah, you heard about that? No. Yeah, I yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I never did. Yeah, the MGM got hacked. Like, they had him at ransom, too. There's a whole thing, like, the hackers, oh, oh. they had him at ransom. Right. Yeah. yeah, and I can't. I think Caesars out. paid the ransom. Because I think Caesars got hacked too. Caesars paid. Yeah, the MGM did it. Yeah. Yeah. But this one is hard work. Huh? This one is hard work. Yeah. This. Yeah. Still, I'm not taking any chance. I'm gonna hit. All right, all right, I'm gonna hit. Oh, there we go. We're good. All right, all right. Okay. Nice. Holy shit!
There we go. <laughs> ah. There's no one. There we go. Ah, no blackjacks. Ah, uh, double though. I should have said. Uh, it's a good thing I took it, but yeah, I should. Good thing I took it. I should have said. I, I didn't. I didn't. I said even money as I'm freaking about, not that much. That's my fault, though. No, no, that's my fault. That's good. It's good. It worked out. Yeah. I I know. Yeah. No, it's a good thing I took it. It's a good thing I took it. I should have said something. There we go. We good. There we go. Watch that. There we go. Ah, oh, you got it too? Sheesh. We're back in the hotel room. <sighs> I'm exhausted. Here's everything that happened. Uh, we went to the Mirage. I was playing the Mirage. And that's the table play you guys saw of me playing at Mirage. And I straight up told, uh, you know, my, my buddy, the professor, hey, I'm just going to play till back off. Like, I, I don't care. Like, I'm just going to. The short, the short 30 minute hits are doing fine. Uh, I'm still profiting. But I'm just going to play till back off, see if I can maximize my time. And he goes, okay, no problem. And so he goes back to Excalibur. All good. And I'm playing. And. The count skyrockets and I'm up eighteen hundred dollars, right? I'm up eighteen hundred dollars and keep in mind, I want you guys to mind something. The Mirage is getting renovated to a Hard Rock, I believe, and everyone in that everyone that works there is getting laid off, right? So everyone's getting laid off. So it's kind of like a nobody really cares anymore kind of situation, and. After I was up 1800, the pit boss 1000% knew I was counting cards and didn't care. I was going from two hands of 300 to two hands of 50. Like nothing. At the, I was at the point where if the count was negative, I was just dropping my second hand and just playing one hand. I was just using black chips for my max bet. Dior started calling check plays. No one cared. Nobody cares it, the entire time. But I went from $1,800 down to six, down 600, back up to $1,735 in profit. Nobody cared though. The pit boss just did not care because everyone's gonna get laid off in about two weeks. Like that's it. Everyone's everyone's fired. So it's the atmosphere in that casino right now is just yeah. Just take all their money. We, like we're, we're, everyone's getting fired, getting laid off. I even asked him like, what, what was going to be like a, a spot for you guys in the new casino uh, that's going to be put up? Is going to be like a spot for you guys? He's like, nah. I was like, oh my god, that's crazy. And so it. I was just spreading like like a madman, and it, it was terrific. The pen was about 0 0.5, 0 0.7 maybe uh, on a six deck game. It was I had surrender. It was hits off seventeen, which is fine. 
uh, no resplit aces, but I mean, it was just amazing. It, today's been a great first day. We're profit, we're a little bit below two grand in profit, I think, if I remember correctly. But yeah, tomorrow's a new day. Uh, it's, it's been super good. I wanna get more table play for you guys, I promise. I'm doing my best. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. Uh, I'm doing my best to get you guys table play, but with a short run, which is why you guys got table play today, the Mirage, because I'm like, I'm playing to a backup. I'm just gonna keep playing. And I, I'm just gonna try to get you guys some table play. All right, I'm gonna do my best for you guys. All right, and I will see you guys tomorrow. All right, it's the next day. So this morning I'm getting tested out. Uh, I'll get tested out by my, my professor buddy. And uh, we'll go from there. I think I'm gonna try to go back to Mirage today just because they don't care because their whole staff is getting laid off. So I'm pretty sure nobody cares right now. So I'm gonna go back to the Mirage today to see if we can make some more money. Uh, we're also gonna check out some other places. So I'll take you guys along for that. But here's some footage of me getting tested out right now. All right, so real quick, you guys, I just finished doing uh, one of the test outs with uh, the professor here. And he's gonna explain how his test out works because it totally caught me off guard on how, because I didn't even think about, I'll let him explain. Okay, so usually what I'll do is I test people out for their knowledge of the deviations. And I'll ask folks deviations they probably never even heard of before, just to see how far they understand the deviations. Then after I'm done with deviations, I do what I call a scatter count, which is I want you to count down one deck of cards, and I usually want you to do it within 30 seconds and I'll shuffle a deck very, very well, move one card to the side. You just gotta tell me if it's a small, medium, or large card. And then I will deal the cards onto the table and I will deal them all over the table in every different orientation and on top of each other so that you have to keep up with the count in real time. There's no going back and looking back at the cards trying to figure out, oh gosh, did I miss a 10? Did I miss a nine? You have to keep up with them real time. And how did I do during that part? You made it. I mean, you made it through <laughs> the 30 seconds. You did well. And then I'll do what I call a six deck shoe from hell. This is where I really want you to talk about your, your, your six deck. My six deck shoe of hell, and I'm not going to give away the composition of the shoe other than to say that it is very, very positively stacked with a lot of extra aces, a lot of extra aces. So it forces you to know how to handle the soft counts and how to deal with having a, a, a hand with four different aces in it. So you'll have a, a, a soft 17, but five of the cards will be an ace. <laughs> and it ends on a very, very high running count. And it's designed for two things. Number one, to make sure that you can uh, keep up with uh, multi-card hands. And number two, it's uh, also testing all of the higher deviations that we don't normally see such as splitting tens versus a dealer four. We don't see that very often. It happens, but uh, a true six doesn't happen very much. And it also uh, doing something like say a nine versus dealer seven. A lot of people don't under or don't get that one. It's, a, it's at a three. However, you'll see it a lot in this one. So after I've done that, I'll usually just move on to a six deck shoe or a two deck shoe, excuse me. And, uh, but the whole time, I'm going to be talking to you. I'm going to be asking you questions. I may even ask you uh, deviations you don't know. Uh, I may ask you things like, hey, what's your telephone number while you're playing? Because I want you to think of other numbers besides the count. And the whole time, I'm going to try to steal your bets. And I'm going to sit there and I'm going to pay you by, if you have two hands out there, I'm going to use your bet from a push to pay just to get you. He got me with that one time and I, I swear to God, in a normal casino, I would have said something, but, and I looked at it for a minute, like, that's not right, but I, I definitely wouldn't, didn't say anything here, but yeah, it, it got me one time that, that got me, and it, it was, I was mad at my, I was like, I would, I would definitely have said something, but yeah, no, that got me one time, it was very sneaky, it was very good, but we're gonna do the double deck right now, guys, but no, it, it's definitely a fun little test out, like he said, a normal shoe ends at zero uh, for six deck, this one's ending at like a stupid high number, so it, it's totally not, you know, your normal deck. It's, su it's super fun. I recommend trying that out whenever uh, you guys are getting tested out. Okay, hey, well, test out and everything's done. On a grade of one to 100, what would you give me? I'd give you about a 98. 98, I would give myself at like an 85 or a 90 for not catching that miss pay. But I'll take a 98. But we're headed to Red Rock right now. I'm gonna go check out their games, but 
so far the trip's been great. I did the math uh, yesterday, guys. Like I said, we were up one thousand nine hundred ninety-nine dollars on the on the dot. So yeah, we're headed to Red Rock. Uh, hopefully, I get to show you guys some table play. Okay, not a bad beat at the Red Rock, but nothing great about it. I had one max bet that won the entire time. We were there for I was there for maybe a little over an hour, uh, so and so. And I only had my max bet out there once, which is the last shoe I played. It was double deck, which is, you guys know that double deck goes crazy sometimes, the counts. It was about three hands in and I had a running 12. So immediately I had a true six. So I apologize not being able to record any table play for you guys, but because it's double deck, the counts swing so, wild, so wildly. And it's so hard for me to like find the time to say, okay, let me turn on you know, the camera. Let me, and I already told you guys in previous videos, my primary focus isn't exactly to record for you guys. I would like to when I can, but it's to make sure I'm keeping the count, betting properly, no basic strategy mistakes, and I still like to talk to the dealer and other table and other players at the table, so that way, you know, I don't act like a robot. But no table play, but we did lose 250. The we were down at one point fourteen hundred? No, not fourteen hundred. Like eleven hundred. It was it was somewhere in the thousands, like low thousands we were down. But we brought it down to minus two fifty during the last shit. And once I showed my max bets, uh, we left. So we're headed to where are we headed? Orleans. Orleans. We're headed to Orleans. So we're going to Orleans. And like I said, hopefully, you know, I get more. I only have one session of table play for you guys right now, but, you know, it, it is what it is. All right. I apologize and I'll do my best, but it is what it is. All right. And uh, I'll see if uh, we get anything in New Orleans. Yeah, that was a good one. I love you. Yeah. Yeah. I always love you. Yeah, I always love you. you win it every and, uh, You get down and then you bet a hundred on your last. So we're at a different casino now. Uh, we lost three hundred and forty dollars at that double deck game that you guys just saw me playing. And it's, I love the comments like, "Oh, you're getting so lucky that last hand," and, and it's a true four. And I'm just sitting there like, "Yeah, lucky. Yep, I'm doing great." But uh, we're in another casino right now. Uh, I forget what this one's called. I'll tell you guys later. But I forget what this one's called. But basically, it's six deck, so we're gonna hit some six deck real quick. And after this, I think we're going back to the Mirage. So we'll, we'll just see what happens. But uh, yeah, all right, let's go at it. All right, so real quick, none of the games were really worth playing uh, when we went. And so it was like two pen or it was full. Uh, we played four minutes at Park MGM and the count just dropped and it was eight deck. So we're back at the uh, Bellagio right now. So we're back there. And I want to try show you guys some table play real quick, but it's uh, the games weren't worth playing, so we didn't play. Uh, we made a quick 150 at Park MGM though, so that was nice. Uh, I'm sorry if it's loud. Uh, do what I can to fix that, but uh, yeah, we're back at Bellagio, so we're gonna play at the Bellagio now. Nice, nice. There we go.
I'm recording here anyway. Uh, I usually try not to record at casinos anymore, but man, as soon as that shoe ended, I stopped recording on my watch. And they backed me off right there. It's like, hey, sir, so you know, no more 21 games. Uh, you can play Baccarat, Roulette, whatever you want. No more 21. I said, yep, okay, I understand. They weren't chill, they were super chill about it. But uh, yeah, backed off. But oh my God, the hands are crazy. I had to keep rebuying in. We lost $290. So out of all of that, we lost $290. So it could have been way worse, but it could have been a lot better. But uh, all right, well, I think we're gonna head back to Excalibur for a little bit and just chill. Uh, did a lot of walking today, but uh, that could have been so much worse. But uh, th thanks for watching, guys. I mean, uh, I'll, I'll update you guys once I get back to the hotel. Oh man, dude, I got some news for you guys. So I didn't plan on it. I'm back at Excalibur, by the way. Like I said, it would be. But I didn't plan on it. But we stopped at one casino in between the last video and coming back to Excalibur. It was eight deck, surrender, and like 0.5 pen. It was so good. It was so good. Like, I didn't like it was eight deck, but I mean, everything else was perfect. It was hit 17, not Samson. It was hit 17, but whatever. It was 0.5 pen, it was the biggest thing. 0.5 pen, surrender, great. And I had the bets out there of $300. Like, I'd say halfway through the shoe, because halfway through the shoe, it was a running 15. It's like a running 15 halfway through the shoe. No. No, 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 not running 15. It got, it got to the, what was it? No, I'm sorry, there was like two decks left and it was like a running 15. Yeah, because I, I even double checked with my buddy. I'm like, you think that's six? Because he was sitting next to me. He's like, yeah. And I was like, I thought so. There's two hands and 300 out there. And we got smacked. We lost $1,060. So we're actually down for the trip 600. So I wanna get some sleep. I just wanted to let you guys know that minus 1,090 at that casino, minus 611, I think, for the trip. So I got one more day here and that's tomorrow, but that's, that's how it is, guys. So right now we're in the red. It is what it is. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. All right, guys, it's my last day. <clears throat> I'm a, I feel like I'm getting a little sick, my, my throat. I might get some medicine or something. That, I feel like I'm getting, I'm, it's like the early stages of getting sick. But uh, yeah, it's, it's the last day and we're down total, I'm not including expenses. So it's like, like playing blackjack, we're down like $600. Uh, so we're gonna try to get that back today. Like every gambler has ever said ever, we're gonna, we're gonna go chase our losses. But uh, yeah, no, uh, it's the last day. I'm gonna play here at Excalibur. If they have their shoe game open, they only have one shoe game. And it's a fifty dollar min with a point five pen, but they have surrender and it's hit seventeen. Uh, it, it's it's a great game, but uh, yeah, no, we're gonna we're gonna move around and I'm gonna play as much as I can today, get as many hours as I can. I'm at nine hours right now between two days. Two days. This this is start of day three, so yeah. So about two days, I'm about nine hours in. So I'm gonna try to you know keep playing, get some more hours in, but uh, it's uh, it's it's going good. Uh, as far as, you know, generating EV, the EV is kind of sucking right now, but in theory, that means we should be going up soon. So we're, we're going to get some more hours in and I want to go check out Excalibur and I want to go look at some of the other casinos. I want to go play some double deck at some of the other double deck games we've been playing. And uh, I'm just going to either play it, play until I back off. I'm just trying to get as many hours as I can. And I'm not going to be back here in uh, Vegas for a bit. So, and they run into a counter every five minutes, so it's not a big deal. Uh, but uh, yeah, let's uh, let's go let's go back out there. So the plan is going to be go to Harrow's. Harrow's is about a mile and a half away, so we're gonna take the bus. But the plan is going to be go to Harrow's. Uh, Excalibur doesn't have any of their blackjack tables open, so we're just going to go to Harrow's and go from there. Uh, nice background, look at that. Yeah, it's pretty nice. So we're off to Harrow's and we're gonna play their high limit game where they have stand 17 and surrender. Harrow's limit is $100, so we're not doing Harrow's, so we're back at Park MGM, where they have $50, but it's eight deck. But the pen's pretty good, so we're gonna do the Park MGM one, which is where we're at right now. And let's just see how it goes, because right now the min bet's pretty high at $100, so hopefully this one's at 50, because we can do 50, 
but uh, we can't do 100. Nothing exciting at Park MGM. Made a quick $200, but the count was a running negative, running uh, negative 13. So I wonged out, cashed out. But uh, Park MGM was nothing special. Like it was negative the entire time, guys. But uh, first time seeing a player play with no hands, though. So he had to like use his head to give signals like stay, hit, stuff like that. But uh, yeah, so first time I got to see a player play without hands. So that was kind of cool. But uh, I think I'm gonna head back to Excalibur now to see if they have their game open. We we'll go from there. I got a bad headache. I bought Tylenol. But uh, yeah, we'll go back to Excalibur. All right. It was nothing special the last day, guys. Excalibur didn't even have their six deck game open. I don't know why. But uh, I'm back at the airport. I'm in North Carolina right now. Uh, one of my flights, uh, it's, it's a connecting flight. So, eh, nothing special. I will probably uh, do another thing when I get home and just explain everything. But overall, the trip was a loss of $91.